Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna have another look at this Terra Master NAS server it's the F2 220 and last time I forgot something um, it was rebuilding the array and we didn't get to see the performance when the array was rebuilt so I was just hoping to try different stuff because I wasn't really satisfied with the speed that we got out of it because um, Terramaster said that they sh it should be able to read with I think 110 megabytes per second and write with 105 megabytes per second and we were way lower than that so um, I have two bad drives in it or at least one of them is pretty bad it, you can kind of hear it in the background nah you, you might not be able to hear that but it uh, it keeps speaking even though the, the array is rebuilt now but it still keeps talking to me saying weird noises like like the noises you don't want to hear out of your hard drives also I have a really have a couple of really high-end solid-state drives that I want to put in there these are server enterprise drives they are 480 gigabytes into SSD uh, DCS 3510 series so pretty good drives so we're gonna try and put a couple of those in but first let's go and uh, see how the benchmarking is uh, with the array done rebuilding okay here we are at the computer and I have logged into Terra Master NAS server right here and the TOS is there and down here we can see on the system information that I have a RAID 1 and it's good. So that's nice. Uh, my cousin was uh, by last night and we have been talking about the TerraMaster logo that is really f similar to the Cooler Master logo. And he told me that there was something called Mocha Master as well, which is a coffee machine brand. And well, they have a, a logo that is a little bit similar too. So. Um, Apparently, this uh, when there is a master involved, the logo has to look like that. Apparently, so um, I just thought that was funny. So um, it's a coffee machine or a coffee maker. I have the disc here, the uh, Samba Share on it, and we will just copy the file over to my desktop. I don't know if we need to see what's in the desktop here. Um, let's go see. Right click here, manage, and device manager, and inside of my computer here, I have a scan disk SSD uh, 128 gigabytes. That should be able to supply and take the data in fast enough for this test, I'm hoping. Um, let's try and copy the I have a 5 gigabyte ISO file here and it's an installation of server 2016. I'm just gonna copy that to my desktop. And yes, server 2016 might be harmful for your computer. Yes, it might. Copy here. And this is what we get. Uh, we get something somewhere between Oh, it's not doing bad right now. 75, I think we saw right there. And uh, 76. Anybody higher? Come on. Down to about 50. So, 49. So, 47, I think I saw. 71, almost 72. 48. So it, it waves up and down. Um, I'm guessing that it's using the cache in the NAS. So every time, oh, that was a good spike. It's not bad for a cheap NAS like this, but I would like to see something closer to the max speed. So I, um, I'm gonna take out the two drives, see how that works. If I can just take those out and uh, still start the operating system I have no idea if I can take both of them out and just run it again 
uh, set up a new array or if this TOS operating system is actually on the NAS, if so, I might have kind of a problem. But I'm just going to take both of them out and see what happens and put in the two solid state drives. So we're just going to power this off. And it powers off. Awesome. I'm going to take out the two drives and unscrew them and put in the solid state drives instead. And that will probably take just a little bit, so I'll be right back. So when taking out these drives, uh, that came with four screws here, but putting in the SSD drives, that some other screws, and you can kind of see it on this thing here, that there is bigger screw holes out here for the three and a half inch drives, than these, well, this one is the same hole, but, but actually these four screw holes for the two and a half inch drives are smaller and these are supplied together with the NAS so it comes with um, two and a half screws for two and a half inch HD and SSDs so I'll put those in so I mounted these two SSDs uh, in each of these cages or trays it looks really empty and only three screws fits uh, when you put this in. Apparently this screw hole is for three and a half inch hard drive. It weighs absolutely nothing, so I'm sure it will be fine. So uh, let's uh, put this in. Let's uh, start with the one that they have marked for hard drive number one. There. And, oh. and hard drive number two. The box is really light now. These two drives over here, they, they really add some weight to a box like this. Let's um, power this up and see what happens. It's gonna be very interesting to see if, if the operating system is still on it or how that goes. Okay, back at the computer. There is something still answering on the IP number that it had before, so let's uh, see how... Two new drives, they're both good. So it doesn't really care about that it has lost the other ones, which is weird. Uh, auto download, okay, so it wanna start the installation again. So we will do that. And it says that the two drives will be deleted, that's fine. And it's gonna install TOS on the drives, so it apparently some of the configuration is put onto the hard drives in the TerraMaster. So this is gonna take a little bit, so uh, we'll be back when it reaches one. Well, it's probably not gonna take that long. It seems to be speeding up, he said, and then it starts slowing down. Hmm. Awesome. Restarting. Okay, so it want to reboot as well. I have noticed that doesn't take very long. It's usually very fast at rebooting the, the little NAS server. So in that regards, it's a lot faster than some of the other brands I've seen. If you reboot a Synology NAS, that will take a couple of minutes. And a QNAP, same thing. That will take a couple of minutes. Uh, what I've seen is that this one is faster than that. This could be the time that when it proves me wrong. Okay, it um, is done. I'm gonna configure this and um, well, we will get back to our speed test. Okay, the system has um, installed. Um, it didn't take long, but I have been doing other things on the side. I need to move it a bit over here because my picture is down here. Yeah, we can see there is a RAID 1. Let's go in and see that. If it's doing well. Storage. Hot drives. We have two good drives. RAID 1. Synchronizing, 52%. So 
Uh, we might just uh, wait until that is completed before we continue this. I have no idea what synchronizing of two empty drives, what's that all about? But um, apparently it's testing something, which is probably a good thing. So we'll complete that and be right back. It has completed. It's now just good. It's not synchronizing or anything. So I do believe that it's done. In the meantime, I have been in here creating a little shared folder. Where can we see that? Yeah, this one, MPH test. That we're just gonna try and copy something to. And very convenient. I have this ISO file still laying around here which we copied out the last time. So I'm just going to copy it in this time. Copy it here. And let's see how that goes. That's it's pretty much about the same thing. It uh, does not go up and down anymore, but it's about 68 megabytes per second. There is, of course, more things that could go wrong between me and the box. I am also running it through a router, a Netgear router, which uh, does have four one gigabit uh, switch ports. So that could be interfering as well. But well, right now it's a lot more consistent. It doesn't go up and down, but well, we are also copying into the box and not out of the box. Let's uh, try and copy this the, the last bit of the way and then try and copy it out again and see what we get out of that. So I'm going to delete that one and let's copy it out. Yes, it's very harmful. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So installing two SSDs in here actually got the performance down on the box. Eh? Before it was higher than this, right? Sending. I'm receiving 415 megabits per second. have a one gigabit uh, link speed and it's using 41% of that connected. Eh, this, I think this is weird. Okay, I have downloaded this disk mark thing here that should be able to help test. I do believe that I need to um, can I select a folder? Let's try that. Okay, it's uh, working on it. This is taking too long and is too boring. So I'll be right back. Okay, here are the results. And, and it's not especially impressive, if I must say so. Um, I have another test. This is of course to the TerraMaster NAS box, but let's pick another folder. I have another folder here on another shared folder on a video server there and we can do a test about to that one that will take a little bit but I experienced that that was faster okay here are the results and uh, well they are a lot better in this test the other tests down here are not very good, especially this one. That was a lot better uh, over to the TerraMaster disk. This, these results right here, they kind of suck, but this one is a lot better. And we could just test, I have the shared folder and I might want to note that I'm on my computer and that computer goes up to a router and from that router there's a 30 meter long cable out to my switch and from that switch it goes into my main oh it's not my main server it's it goes over to a host and on that host there is a virtual server and that virtual server has a shared folder and that is this one so i have my file here 
So let's try and copy that. Copy and see how that goes. Look at that. We are over 80 megabytes per second and that has way longer to go. 94. So it's not the connection from my computer and up to the router and over to the Terramaster that is the problem. That's for sure. Well, then it should be the cable over to the Terramaster, but really, really, I don't think so. Something, the Terramaster um, is not very good with this solid state drive, apparently. So I'm gonna cancel that. I don't want that over there. Okay, I just ran the test again against the, the Terramaster and the result is about the same. These are pretty good results. It is two solid state drives. I just don't understand why at some of the numbers the ordinary hard disks was better. It makes no sense. So, but we're gonna try something new. So one of the things that could um, be slowing this down is that the box has to make a mirror onto these two drives so that both data is on the same drive. Usually this gives better performance because you're reading and writing to two drives. It, it might not be a good thing with two solid state drives. So I was actually gonna try and put in this Western Digital Red Drive. It's an eight terabyte drive. And I wanted to put that in one of the bays and see um, what the performance is from each of those. Um, have one solid state drive in one bay. I'll probably do this one solid state and this one the red eight terabyte and see what performance that will give me and how to configure that. Okay, I mounted the eight terabyte red drive, four screws. So we're gonna put that in, in bay number two here and power on the system again. And it makes a little bit more noise because now there's an ordinary hard drive in there. And it's spinning up. It lights up red here. I've never seen that before. Usually they're green. And the unit has spun up. So now I think I can go to the computer and take it. Oh, now it's probably done. Okay, here we are at the computer. We're not gonna need that. We need to go here and probably it's, we need to log in again. Loading. Yeah, it remembers me. So I'm already logged in. Uh, probably it is complaining here. Yeah, one drive is missing. So let's go see what we can do. Storage manager, hard drives. So we have one SSD and we have one Western Digital 8 terabyte drive there. So I don't know what we do here. This one says that it's broken. Um, I'm gonna create a single disk with this one. Single disk. And that is the only option that I have, kind of ish. So we're gonna select that one, encryption, nope create uh, and it will delete the drive yes that's fine I have uh, been mailing forth and back with Terramaster on this unit actually to ask if it would take a hard drive bigger than 8 terabytes because 8 terabytes is what they say on their homepage or their about page and he said that they would actually take 10 terabytes disks all I could afford was an 8 terabyte disk. So, ready to format. I guess it's doing something down here. This one. Okay, now that is good. Uh, I do believe that it it puts the operating system over on the second disks as well. So I think I can take this and delete that now. And we're gonna make a new single disk on that as well. Here we're gonna make a single disk on that dude. Yes.
Um, probably that's for taking the 8 terabyte drive and making a cache drive. So we would probably be able to use the SSD as a flash cache drive for the 8 terabyte disk. That would be awesome too. But, well, right now I'm testing something else. Ready to format. I will be back. Okay, both drive has been uh, created and I've been in here making two shared folders as well. So we have something to test. I'll call it my Playhouse HDD and my Playhouse SSD. So we're gonna go out of here and we're gonna start a folder. Go to another IP. There we are. Um, and I have the two folders here, so we're gonna try and copy my test file here, <laughs> server 2016. Uh, I think I might delete that afterwards. Um, it has been copied so many times. So let's um, start with the SSD and just copy it over there. Copy. There we are. Okay, now we are rock and rolling. 112 megabytes per second. Now that is awesome. 114 megabytes per second. So apparently the box does not like to be, um, to be making a RAID 1. It has difficulties with that and will go down in speed. This is awesome. That's that was the result we wanted. This is this is cool. Let's go back and try the hard drive, the red drive. Copying that over, copy. And we get about the same result. Okay, now it's going down and then it went up a bit again. Okay, it's not as steady as the SSD. Oh, it's damn close. So the box does deliver. Let's uh, let's see the box. Can we see it while it's doing something? We could just hurry up and get into resource monitor and bandwidth. I was too late. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Let's uh, let's read. We'll delete this one out here. And we will read this one. Yes, server 2016 is dangerous. Copy. And we are transferring that to my computer. The result is not that great. The other way around. It, it's still 80 some megabytes per second. It's not at all bad. So here we can see uh, we were up here when we were putting the files over to the box and we're down here when we're reading it again. So probably the SSD will be better at that. So we will have a look at that when this is done. Actually, we could just cancel that. Yeah, and go over and take the SSD. And so I copy that out here. Copy. Apparently, that's the best speed we get out of it. That's kind of funny. It's uh, it's a bit better than the hard drive. You can see that it's way more steady here. And now it's behind the text. That's unfortunate. There we are. Ah! Come on. You got to be kidding me. It's a bit higher from the SSD than the ordinary hard drive, but the ordinary hard drive is 8 terabytes and this is just half a terabyte. So, mm. okay, it's done. Let's try and copy it back in. Like that, copy here, and yes, we get the very high speed again. Uh, 
and we can see that it's it's way up there. It stores data really good as long as it's on a single drive. Well, I was getting nervous there, but it seems that the TerraMaster actually does get up and delivers what the one gigabit connection can um, can pull through. Um, so that's awesome. I have seen other boxes with a gigabit interface that was only able to transfer like five megabytes per second, five to eight megabytes per second. They were advertising a gigabit connection, but you didn't get the file transfer speed to max that out in any way. So, well, I guess um, I'm gonna leave the testing of the drives with this. None of the tests was really bad. It was kind of okay, all of it, for a box of this size that it will deliver 50 megabytes per second in most situations. And if you set it up something like that, it will do 110 megabytes per second storing files. So I don't know why it's slower at uh, delivering those files back, but well, 80 megabytes per second is not bad. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.